G'day guys, back again. We have got a 2010 Ford Fiesta 1.6 petrol that's coming for an intermittent uh, erratic idle, particularly when cold. So uh, I did have a quick look on, uh, usually when we get a job like this booked in, I have a quick look at what resources we have and I found this interesting um, repair solution on TAT. So I'll get you on the screen and I'll show you what it is and then I'll get you back over here. So as you can see, we just go here and we search Fiesta Idle in the main search box and we just go down, click on repair solutions and as you can see, the top one here is the one we're referring to. So let's open up, have a look and as you can see, same vehicle and the customer complaint is exactly the same. Idle erratic uh, went cold but okay went hot and um, basically went through the live data and figured that the TP voltages were incorrect uh, incorrectly reading so I put open this case and the wear marks are just uh, worn down on the contacts so clean them up and um, possible you know test to actually confirm that this is the fault is to just bend these pins back uh, to create a better contact put it back together and check the next cold start but ideally the throttle body to be replaced is the correct repair so let's go out and have a look at ours Okay, so after looking at that, we've got these PIDs on the screen. Let's start it up and see what happens. You can see what's happening there. Surging around. And if we go to the screen, what can we see? That TPS number is very erratic. Obviously our calculated load is changing a little bit because of our, uh, our position of the throttle blade but our APP obviously is doing nothing and we are getting a very very erratic idle so obviously if I put my foot on it the load will change so you know that's why we're getting that, um, that load change there but as you can see our TP1 and um, our TP2 values are quite erratic and obviously we've got um, no accelerator pedal uh, input at all and our uh, PCM is trying to control the, the throttle body to sort of get it to where it wants to be as you can see. So you know in saying that and looking at that repair solution I think what we might do is we might just you know it takes two seconds to take this throttle body off so I might just take it off and pop that cover off and Let's see if it's the same situation. Now look what's happening when it's warm. Everything is fantastic, stable. Our idle is good. But let me show you what I just did. I just revved it to get it warm. But if we go back, if we pause this, and if I go back to where I was revving it, let me just go back a bit. So that's where it started to get warm and then it smoothed out but if you look at what was happening as I was revving it before look how fluctuating it was and as soon as it got a little bit warm it just stopped and started actually you know reading normally so I'm thinking we're on the same path and it's the same issue as what we found on the TAT site so yeah, let's get the throttle body off and let's pop that cover off and let's have a look Okay, we are apart and it does look like we have our track marks uh, like the repair solution says. We've got a bit of dirt down the back there so I think what we might do to prove it like the repair solution says is we might just bend these tabs a little bit more forward, try and uh, clean this up a little bit, put it back together and let's check the next cold start and then we'll go from there. Okay, it's a new day. You can see our coolant temperature is cold. We are looking for the next cold stop. As you can see, TP sensor 2 still a little bit wobbly. Uh, TP sensor 1 is good now after the, the adjustment. So let's just start it up and see what happens. revving a bit higher but it's not surging we 
we've got pretty steady TPS1, TPS2 and the actual ETC is steady too our load, look at our load our load's obviously a little bit high on cold start with the throttle plate open a bit that's uh it's looking good so far it's way better than it was yesterday and you can remember how erratic the TPS1, TPS2 was It's looking like this is fixed guys this is well obviously this is a probably a temporary repair the customer might get away with this for a while but you know ideally the that circuitry is probably a little bit worn and um, you know I'm going to re recommend replacing the throttle body itself but that is uh, definitely what I would consider a 1000 times improvement uh, it was so erratic the previous times and the idle was just up and down like no tomorrow so there we go. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. That uh, it's just, you know, when we're in this trade and we get a lot of different makes and models, it's it's nice to have that network. We can, you know, we can do a little bit of research before we get a job, or you know, lean on each other for or, um, for you know previous repairs. Just can save us time sometimes, and you know we try and do that for each other. So if uh, if you guys ever need any help from me, I'm always here to give you a hand in return, regardless of what it is. So I appreciate you watching guys and hopefully this may help you if you get a vehicle in like this. One more look. Happy with that. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.